I, I mean, guess, surprise. Uh, I, it's global presence. I'm it's not a huge fan of it. It's not there. the worst choice, but it's just how does it really address the brewmaster and also you get cut by the morphling. Alternatively, maybe you could look towards a chaos knight. I don't mind that here. I'm just thinking the same thing. I mean, it, it could shred through the Dragon Knight. Morphling gets caught. He dies. You can not morph stun. quick enough. It's minus armor. I think I'd really like it here for pain. Dragon Knight. Okay. That's respectable as well because the thing we've got to catch on to is the fact that the, the Brewmaster will use the Drunken Haze on you. So you can at least spin out of that and look for a kill. Especially when you've got Nature's Prophet and Kunker. You just sprout in, chase around. Father's going to be feel pretty threatened in this game. Yeah, so it is Tavo back in the Beastmaster. We are playing the Lena HFN with the Juggernaut and King RD back on Kunkka. Duster now on the Nature's Prophet. So it's uh, will be that position five Nature's Prophet. No surprise, honestly. But uh, for the side of Team Secret, got mid one on the DK who ended up going safe lane uh, last game. On uh, I'm completely forgetting. Uh, on the OD. <laughs> yeah, he's on the OD. Yeah. And then mid, they have the Lone Druid The Lone Druid Ace, and so he's going to be on that Morphling. Fada on the Brewmaster. Yapsor with the Jakiro Puppy on the Naga Siren. So. Shouldn't, like, like, shouldn't the game just break if mid one doesn't go to the mid lane? I mean, it's in so just change his name automatically. I mean, in fairness, he's got mid and one in there, so technically he should be okay to go safe lane or mid. You got pass one, you got mid. There you go. So that's the logic. He gets away. If he goes off lane, though, the game blows up. Call him now. But looking at this right now, we will see Ace in that safe lane. We are just talking about how you have that chase down. It's better to have a long lane when you've got a Jakiro and a Naga. And of course, Ace with the mobility from the waveform can capitalize on that. And smoke up actually comes out from Wee and King. They're also gonna just send the uh, the trees out. I like that they get the smoke on the trees because they'll be able to see the movements with, and be more aggressive. And you know, if you were doing that with Hero, you're reluctant because if the smoke pops in an awkward position, you're probably gonna die. The ward comes out super early from Naga there. But we... He's just trying to see... He actually thought they hadn't placed it yet. King's on his way now. He needs to be quick because his smoke is about to run out. Yeah, if it runs out under that ward, they'll know it's there. Gets out just in time. Yeah. That's really close as well. So, both teams warding the exact same location. Yeah, and the tree spot Naga as well as the Morphling, I don't know if it spotted that ward or not. Uh, or at least the placement of the ward. I know it just got pinged, but that was by Naga. So we'll see if they're able to deward that, as they do see King RD coming over. So, yeah, just be a little bit careful. And they're in the same lane we saw last time inside of Pain. And I do like this. It's going to be a little bit more annoying up against the Naga, but uh, Poppy. <laughs> well, if you want to invade our rooms, I'll literally just steal yours. Yeah, they shoot the hand a little bit too soon there. And, you know, you. You want to hold on because sometimes there is very situational scenarios where Kunkka wants X instead of Torrent. Usually it's always Torrent. Ends up being three for one, uh, three for secret uh, there in terms of bounty runes, which is not, you know, it's not this huge make or break moment, it's not, but it's nice. It's not a huge consequence. There's not a hero in the game that's going to get a huge value out of that extra little bit of gold. It's not like an Io here who's waiting for his bowl. No. So we hop up against mid one. Mid one is actually going to be mid this game. He's on the DK against the Lena, which we're not surprised. Like, like we were talking about, I think mid one should do okay in this lane. Um, he's going to be hard to kill once he hits that level three. He also does the breathe fire to mess with this Lena. So I like that lane for secret over bottom or over top. You've got Ace and uh, Puppy here, which we talked about, and it's the same as uh, with Tavo, King RD, and Duster now makes his way over. But Duster, I think, is going to be quite mobile. Yeah, and you've got to tell the, the whole point in picking this hero is just being any way you, any way you want to, really. But yeah, the, the bot lane, they're happy to leave alone. Just get a few levels on Juggernaut. But far the same, and, and this is the thing. We said if you have a quick six, it's actually quite dangerous if a brew gets six. Like, pre-10 minutes, he's just going to look at this lane and go, split, killed. And yeah, you're going to want to really shut down Fada, and these Treants are doing quite a bit of damage. The yeah. better they are, you know, the, the more they push out Fada, the better this is this game is going to be for them, because you want that to be a slow six. And oh, King RD, a little bit of trouble here getting blocked up. Puppy keeping it going, the dual breath comes out, and there's the rip died. Died. Oh, no. He doesn't actually hit the torrent. He will be able to get out, though. They haven't got any stuns, but it's a close call. Meanwhile, on the bot, Fada just still feeling that serious harassment coming up from Duster. All but Venom is such a good value item for range supports now. He's got the War of Venom, he's also got the Treants that are just doing work to him. Um, Fada changes the outlook of this game once he hits six, so just to be ultra aggressive on him is is 
prime for pain and I, I think they do have to keep it up they have to make sure that at one point I, I would hope that they for their sake at least push him out of lane once yeah and they know that naga's not two yet so you see how aggressive hfn's being he knows he can get away with this until naga has at least level two when you get a point in the ensnare yeah the ensnare as well as the riptide with thunderclap it, it, it'll be brutal just farm with it i mean blade fury why do you need to escape with it i love this pressure they're actually putting in because this just really makes father always paranoid they take an early tower as well it's just gonna really give father no safe place to farm we'll see how much they're able to pressure the tower as uh he did hit level three on the jug as well as on the brew so he's getting there and he's getting there quick especially with this being a solo lane for him and Tava is just going to punch out with Puppy. Like, Nago is usually one of those supports that trades with the offlaner really well in a melee fest. But against a Beastmaster, especially since you haven't actually started with the Orb of Venom. And remember, this is the, the uh, year of the mango, clearly, as you see your supports picking up three mangoes. What about that glorious regen? Three mangoes there, and three mangoes on the Brewmaster as well. Yeah, and the mango sitting on mid one. Wee's not going to join the party. Tavo did. He's actually got two sitting on standby in his backpack. Everyone wants mangoes, man. It's good. Healthy. That's what, it's what these dirt players need. A healthy diet. You know, cooped up in a room all day. It'd be bad for your health. This is the thing. They're actually stacking up on the mid, but how do you get across here without triggering a light strike array? Yeah. And he doesn't actually have a lot of mana. It's besides the point, like you're under tower, right? And Dragonite, he doesn't have this huge damage spike right now. Yeah, it's but if they could get maybe. the Ensnare as well as the Riptide into a oh. Dragon Tail, the damage could come out, especially if there's no way to... Whoa, full team disconnect from Secret. Uh, yeah, you know, that's you know not exactly planned. Maybe, maybe someone in the room was just using the wires skipping ropes and tripped over. Or was kicking the internet box that under the table. That might have happened, you never know. You never know. It might happen for the second time, this event. These things, they can just happen. But it does give us a little bit of time to uh, to look at cosmetics, because we're clearly not going to do the analysis. No, I mean, we could talk about Puppy, who can come over mid. I do. I personally think he, if there's no mana on Weeha, they make that move. You go with the Ensnare, you get the Riptide, Dragon Tail, Breathe Fire. You can make that chase with how tanky that Dragonite is. Absolutely. You ever contemplate that if Naga actually had like nipples, would Twitch ban, or, uh, ban all these like, big streams? Maybe. Just get like the organizers going to Valve. Please, we had to move across to Smashcast. Don't do this to us. Or Facebook. Facebook, yeah. No comment. But something to comment on is the fact that Fada is level four. We were saying about the quick leveling and how this is going to impact the game. And it just feels like team. This seems to be a little bit too content. They're just giving away too much to Peru. But what do you really have to pressure him? You've tried with the Nature's Prophet. You're even under his tower. You don't really slow him down, though. Yeah, they're trying to keep Fada out of this lane. HFN, though, he's doing a good job, too. So it's not the worst if uh, Brew hits six as well at the same time HFN hits six. But it's it's still not going to be pretty. Oh, the top lane, a little bit of harassment going on top. Oh, they might actually die for this. I'm going to snare veil, but Ace, he wants to chase. The creeps are there, but he'll back away. You don't want to risk it. There could be an instant response from yeah, two supports. Now set up three heroes over towards bottom to try and go in on Fada. If they can land the X as well as maybe the Sprout, get the Blade Fury on top of Fada. They might be able to rack up a kill. They're continuing to push forward. So they want to get under this tower, get the creeps to pull that aggro from the tower and go in deep in between the tier one, tier two. Fada's position is perfect. He knows someone's coming. Yeah, but, but now he's been spotted, yep, so... Oh, TP, TP comes response. out. HFN needs to leave. They actually went for him to Blade Fury. They want to try and force it out so they can ensnare, but no one close enough. So they've been waiting to see that. They didn't want to bring the supports down in case they weren't there, but they knew that Pain hadn't been showing any supports on the map for a while now. And also, you just want to kind of leave Ace alone. Just get a few levels on this Morphling. I think that's okay for Tavo too. Just, you know, get that level 6, Absolutely. have the Primal Roar available quicker. 
Uh, you want that solo farm. Is he's been sitting there with King RD and, and Duster for a while. Yeah. And he's kind of far behind, oh. but they're going to go in for Ace. They're going to try and get this kill. The wait for him forward. King RD is not dead just yet. The chase is on from Duster. And Tabo, the Wild Axe has come out, but he's morphing into that strength, making him a harder target to kill. Under this tier one tower, they continue to dive. Tabo taking tower shots now, and they will finally back off. King RD a little bit low as Ace makes his way over, but he's able to survive as three heroes try to go in on him. Yeah, not exactly uh, the cleanest kill. They couldn't get the X off in time, and well, they tried to pull him back, but waveform, right? This is just the way that you just dodge out on the Morphling. And we actually saw that yesterday. It was the Morphling Kunkka matchup, right, when we was playing it. And every time, he had to try and actually hit the torrent bow because after, like, he was trying to spike him down. It just gave him time to shift. And Fada, X, this one's an easy one. The torrent comes out, and look at the creep just hitting on him. Fada, blocked up. He's got the split, and he might be forced to use it in a second. Gets the clap. We'll be able to save it. He's got mangas if he needs to. There is the Nipas, and they all DC'd, so I'm not surprised there's a lag. I I'm surprised that Fada I, <laughs> swapped with Morph. Dude, I, I didn't think that was lag. I thought he was just, like, feeling the adoring fans of all these creeps that wanted his autograph, right? Like, hey, Brewmaster, we love you. We don't see you too much. The of things you don't see, a Juggernaut actually TPing to the mid lane. Unicrossi, he does have six. He wants to get a kill on the Yapsaw. This is a perfect opening on slash for him if he can get it. Yeah, he's all by himself. They miss the stun from Weeha and actually gets around. So Yapsaur. They missed so much here. Deeks the entire side of Pain Gaming. They actually need to get the tower now. Wow. Or it's completely not, not worth. And meanwhile, in your bot lane, mid one, he's got a dragon form. They'll take the tier one bot. Pain just kind of being juggled around right now. They've got four heroes in the mid lane. And L. Oh, well, here comes the Dragon Knight. Mid one wants to respond to this. There's the torrent used, the light striker ready to cover. He does come out. Still in a little bit of trouble. Uses that Blade Fury going in deep as Puppy continuing on forward. Ice Pad oh, lands onto him. And now mid one looking for that so damage, but so close to killing off HFN. That was really, really close. You want to get closer, but obviously he'd already used the brief fire. And, and Ace? What? He snuck around the back ace, you devil! He'll be pulled back and torrent up, but you've got no follow-up and... You know what, it's actually hard to believe it's been eight minutes, almost eight minutes, and that's how long we had to wait for that first blood. Both yeah. these teams have so much kill potential. But cheeky little ace coming around the back. And they're up 2,000 net worth, so their laying phase has gone really well. You take a look, 45 and 15 for the Morphling, 44 for the DK. They're, they are lanes, especially now with this first blood, have gone pretty perfectly as Brew didn't get bothered at all either. His Invis here, but he's got no backup. He'll back off as soon as he sees Duster. Yeah, level-wise, this is looking pretty nice. We said about that Brewmaster. Beastmaster and just hit the six. Same time, Morphling up the six. And speaking of which, he finds a kill on the King RT. He will get Omni Slash, but lives the... Hex actually pulls him away from HFN. He'll just TP out. He actually might have got him with the Blade Fear if it wasn't for that. Yeah. Ace, just reading the scenario perfectly there. Doesn't even throw the Blade Fury, doesn't kill Ace. I just, how does that not even work out for them? It was surprisingly enough as oh, we have wait. over mid. They've got the Ice Path as well as the Dragon Tail Light Strike Array. Will hit on the mid when they're trying to run away. One shot is going to get Weeha. But they'll the get the kill and top. help. The oh. chasing on Tavo is in a little trouble here. And this is the Brew Master Valley look for. Going to control up Kunko and there's the Sprout to control up Puppy. The snare comes out and Tavo has to stand his ground, but he won't be able to do so as he does fall. Just trying to stay like the Primal Roar. He's actually going to live. He gets away with this. And Puppy now in peril as he dies of Fada. Trying to run away. The X comes out. They haven't got a torrent. They're just going to try and set up and look for the damage out with him. Fada being chased down. They've got torrent in five seconds. There's the Sprout. Needs to get out of here quick. He's running out of HP quickly. Wants to turn around, look for the clap, but he can't get close enough. The Kaying is perfect, and they get the kill. As another one claimed. And for all sense of purposes, Tavo should have been dead there. I think it was about 20 HP he got away on in the end. Yeah, just gets away with the Primal Roar as that hits the last second, keeping him alive, getting out of the tier one. Tower is over mid, they'll look for Weeha. We got quite a bit of damage. The Lacuna Blade thrown onto mid one. Meanwhile, Weeha will drop from Yapsor, the Dual Breath as well as the Liquid Fire on him. They won't take out mid one. The Snare comes through onto Tavo. Not dead just yet. Puppy again. Trying to get a kill on Tavo, and he somehow survives with a little him. bit of health. And Ace comes in, throws the adaptive strike at Tavo, gets the kill on King RD, still trying to run at this Beastmaster as Puppy is coming through, finds the ensnare. Ace is here. Wild Axe is thrown. Adaptive strike one shot away. Now under his tower, 20 health and still surviving. Again, 20 HP in the exact same <laughs> spot. 
I mean, they didn't give a kill in return, but I mean, Tarvo, the boy who lived, not ready to die just yet. I can't believe he survived twice with 20 health like that. That That's under the tier one tower. I thought they might dive it and they didn't want to take that chance. This is kind of like the morphling scenario where it's like, hmm. No one keeps spamming spells around me, so I've got no one charge. If he had one charge there, he doesn't even hesitate. He gets the kill, he walks away in time. But the fact was, he didn't want to go for that extra right click because he would have been hit by the tower and there could have been a TP response. So he wasn't wrong to back up when he did, but he's going to be frustrated and miss out on that kill. Because yeah. I feel like right now, Beastmaster is the prime one to keep killing. Yeah, especially when he, now he's got the Primal Roar, he's level 7, he's working on this Shadow Blade. And they do smoke up, yeah, and let's see. Shadow if... Blade, but they might be able to make something happen. Puppy, he's right here. Oh, can he bait with the illusion? No, he's going to make it obvious. The Tavo does get revealed, and now mid one's going to be careful. The Ice Path doesn't catch on, but there's the Dragon Tail coming up from mid one. He's there to hold Tavo in place. They might finally get him this time around. The Primal Roar coming out, and now the Torrent following up. The Bruce Blade is there. The Chase Down, they want Tavo so badly. They'll sell for Dustin to begin with, but they will find him as well. And now Chasing Free HM is going to drop as well as they claim Free Heroes. They're not done yet, though. The Ensnare catching on to King RD. He needs to run fast, but not fast enough. The Dragon Tail comes out, and he will fall as well. Lena, the only one to survive on our team as they lose four. Now they take nothing. Weha gets a tower over mid, which is a consolation prize in that fight. But Secret really pulling ahead 9-2, 3,000 gold in their favor. And, and it's just, it's getting harder and harder for Pain to find anything as they fall further and further behind. The tankiness of, of Secret, the ability to stay alive here in these fights is just proven to be too much for Pain at the moment. Absolutely. And this is... Getting pretty grim. 4k net worth lead doesn't look like much, but we've seen these sort of things before. Where Morphling is sitting top of the pack, and he has a decent lead over everyone, anyone else. And he will have that Lincoln soon. And yeah. you all getting closer? If you can actually find a kill here. HFN a little far out. If he gets found, he's in a lot of trouble. And he's he already used the Blade, the Fury. Blade Fury. And they're going to come on forward. Fada looking for the kill. There's the way for him forward. Start to hit away at HFN. They throw the Ice Path down. They lock him in. And he throws the Healing Word out. The boat comes through, but it's not going to be able to keep him alive. They've already lost one. They'll look over the Kunkka. King RD trying to run away. There's the TP nice attempt. One. And there's the Ice Path Adaptive Strike. And gone you are. Lean just trying to push top in the meantime. Yep, saw Ping and respond and Puppy here as well with the ensnare. But none of them want to approach Wee. Not when he has that Laguna. They're slowly whittling him down. And there's the Laguna coming out of the Ice Puppy. Yep, so can't stay alive. But the consolation is they do get the kill as a double kill happens for mid one. And Tarvo, well, he will be safe for the moment. Elder Dragon form now coming off cooldown. We'll know to back away though. And in the bot lane, the push just continues. The ace hits pretty hard. He could actually melt through that tower, but why risk it? You're ahead, take your time. Bomb the map, get that Lincolns, make sure you're safe. Exactly. Because the Beastmaster Prime rules you in those scenarios, the follow-up could kill you so easily. Especially if the Blade Fury happens. They're continuing to extend this lead. The Dragonite's in here, 5,900 net worth. That's 800 above the Lena, his counterpart. But the more important thing is how far ahead Morphling is on the Jug. Jug not even at 5,000 yet, just sitting so far behind. Where Ace is almost at a Lincoln Sphere, almost at 8,000 net worth, sitting above everybody by quite a, a large margin. And they have no way to shut down the Morphling at the moment. Like, this is the thing, in this type of scenario, you have to sit back and reflect. What, what is your advantage in the next five, two, five minutes on the side of pain? So, it has to come from the Beastmaster getting the Necronomicon, and you're looking to push towers. But that's not easy against this lineup. Brew is always They're way. wrapping around on Tabo too. They've got the smoke. They'll look for the blink as well as the thunderclap, possibly the Bruce he blink. But away. Tabo backs far away, and so they aren't going to able to get, aren't going to be able to get that. They're in this mentality where we need to farm. We're not ready. But the problem is, Secret are ready. They're going to start taking towers and farming quicker than you. HFN's just got a Yasha going for the Sanj. When they get Sanj, maybe he wants to fight. He's a little bit more tanky. But Morphling coming in from the back foot. Look at what's HFM will force him away. Ace doing a lot of damage there. And in the meantime, in the mid lane, they do catch on the Wii and snare him up. The Laguna comes out, but Yapsa will not die this time. We will, though. Yeah, take out Wii. They take the tier one tower as well. Dragonite coming around the back. Let's see if they can even look for more. They have the Bruce split at the ready, mid one coming through, and it looks like King RD might be in a little bit of trouble as there's the Dragon Tail. The damage will come out. Ice Path to follow it up. And it's kill split by three. HFN's just trying to slow down the push. They know how dire this scenario is. So they're just trying to cut creeps. They're trying to buy time. 
But we already said, what are you buying time for? Morphling, you're buying time for him to now just get that Lincoln. So he's there. On top of that, the Brewmaster, if he goes for something like a Vlad's, it's going to allow him to sustain a lot better. Maybe even rush towards a Radiance at the rate they're going because he's farming reasonably well, actually. He's almost farming better than Payne's mid and safe laner. As they push the bottom tier one tower right now, and there's no contest from Pain Gaming, as there there really can't be. Well, they are smoked off. Pain looking to make a move here, but they're not going to find anyone. Secret, they're playing this correctly. They know how strong they are as a five man, so why split it? Puppy, the only one left behind, is so he's just trying to push him mid as well. But he has the song. You have to kill him so quickly here, and they'll go straight for the Roche. This is this is exactly what they need, and they can do it. They've got the they medallion. Might give up a tier three or at least chip damage to the tower, and you actually have to here. Like you can't defend against this right now, not with a Naga well, on standby with a song. You need will the Aegis even help you at this point though, because they've got the reset. They're ready to go. The torrent does hit on two. They'll throw out the wild axes. But look at how quickly this tier three tower gets. Oh, the blinking with the thunderclap. There's the Bruce split coming out. As they continue forward, look for the Ice Path locking in King RD. They've also got the Cyclone out on Tavo. They've got the damage, the Macro Pyre laid down. Can King they take out King RD before he gets back to the well? They won't, unfortunately, be able to, but they've taken the Tier 3. They'll go for Rax, take out the Melee Rax. Laguna Blade use. they'll clean up Puppy, so no more Song for Secret. And this is great. Now they want to move forward. Pain are ready to go, but Secret, they read it perfectly and move away. Getting that Naga kill is critical, because with the Song, Secret are ready to rock. Without it, no. And the other thing was, secret were correct, not only because of that, because Kunka still had the ghost ship. He wasn't forced to throw that out and survived. So if you mess with them in that scenario, if you underestimate pain, you would have probably lost your whole team. And then you shift the goal very close to even again. So, other important thing, still at the Aegis. And yes, you do lose most of a lane, but even though it's not a huge gold lead right now, the impact that the, the net worths of certain heroes in this game are having, the Dragon Knight and the Morphling, means that actually that could have went much worse for them. Yeah. It still can. I, I don't know if Aegis is an amazing on Wea with just the Yules at the moment. Like they're, they're, They can blow through Wea, and I don't think Secret are scared of the Yules. Yeah, sure. You haven't got like super big items, but the fact is you're really squishy. So this is going to, like, right now, a lot of Pain's damage is actually Lena. A lot of it, right? So think about it like this. Beastmaster's a little bit. Sure. Juggernaut. I mean, he's got the Sanj and Yasha now. No, actually changed his mind. He's going for the Manta style. So actually backed away from it completely. And I just don't think you're really getting good value by going for this Manta. It feels kind of... Not wasted. It feels like you, you haven't really got good choices right now on a Juggernaut in this type of scenario you've been forced into. So he's just making do of what he can. Oh, this is perfect. You see yeah, Puppy's Puppy sent up for the song. He's just got the Shadow Amulet. Song. There's the song. Hits on one, hits on two. They try to grab Duster, but these two are the most important here as the Ice Pan plays down right on top of them. There's the Macro Pyre. Mid one comes in. They'll stop Weeha. They'll take this Aegis. The rest of Pain Gaming are going to try and save Weeha, but I don't know if they can get in deep enough. The stun is going to be attempted by Weeha just to get that attack speed up. The boat comes in, hits on to three, and that holds them back for a moment, but they've got the Bruce split. They've cycloned up Duster as he will be lifted up thrown down between the entire side of secret and they'll at least take the kill in the nature's profit they pop the aegis as well might maybe even find tavo but into the trees he goes yeah he'll escape he's got a tp he's pretty far away and because mid one shoot himself back at the lane he'll feel confident to just tp away so yeah you lose the aegis there and i mean you can feel desperacy pain was sitting there they're looking for some sort of reinitiation but there was no chance in hell you could get on that. Not the macro part, the, the positioning right over here was perfect to cut any sort of reading because you'd have to go all the way around or you'd have to expose yourself to the extra magic damage. And when you do that, if you get stunned up instead or whatever and caught in the macro part, that's just bonus kills. Evan Talbert picked up here by the Dragonite. So it looks like he's going for the Maelstrom. I actually kind of... No, it's Monkey King Bar. I don't know, like, this is the weird thing, you, you know what I'm saying, like, Juggernaut in this scenario, because he's so far behind, even though it doesn't show on the network, he feels far behind. His itemization just has to change sporadically from moment to moment. And again, Pain Gaming are going to try and smoke, so they're going to get that attack speed up for Weeha. They'll try and find something, but mid one's here and he's ready. Yeah, he pinged out as well, he knows something's up. 
So we're just on the, on the hunt. He has to get so much value out of the Shadow Blade now to create so much space just so Juggernaut can keep farming. Well, they're smoked up. Pain moving around right now, but Secret, they are completely aware. They've got the song of 40 seconds, so they're not in a rush to fight, especially with Bruce Split. Available in 20. Yeah, all their all their big ults are on cooldown at the moment. The wild axes are going to be thrown forward. The elder dragon form from mid one. He's got the shadow blade. There's the dragon jump. Nice sprout. But now with the macro pyro wave down as well as the ice path, they start to go through top of the thunderclap. Comes through. They'll get the kill onto this beast faster. And the boat comes in. The laguna blade thrown. Fada will drop the omni slash on a mid one. The ensnare finally comes out onto the juggernaut. Ice path on a two. Ace comes in with this nice wave form. Weha's getting low, but he'll get out with the shadow blade. The TP attempt from Duster with the sprout around him. He gets away two dead on pain gaming while they take out fada yeah and pain for all that they tried the sprout was a great idea but what i really loved is the fact they light strike to race straight away because they knew that the macro part is going to be dropped so they that was their best hope of getting out in that fight in one piece it was actually impressive that tarbo even got the primary roar off so all things considered it could have went worse the problem is this bot tower is looking even less healthy now it's the range racks, uh, bot tower range racks, and uh, down to 100 HP now. It's not going to last long. And the push is on. They've got both the DK and the Morphling to push this tower, as well as the liquid fire coming in from Yapsor. They force out the glyph. And now they've got everything up. They've they got Song, they've got Bruce Split, they'll have Elder Dragon form in just a moment. Weeha setting up, they've got the stun that comes out onto this Morphling as well as the Laguna Blade. Song. Ace getting away, and now the Song comes out as well as the boat. They'll look to reset. I don't think they'll go back in. They'll back away. They, they don't want to fight right now. They just see the Song, that's the... Like, if Ooh. they're in too deep, they try and flip it. If they're already on their way out, just escape. There's no reason to force that fight. For a moment, they thought about going on to HFN, but... They just TP out. Like, they, they've, they're they in a rush. Morphling's about to have the Fear Blade, and then just watch this Lena disappear. Right? Without the Lena, we were just saying before, that's actually still a big damage spike for them. I mean, you can only put so much pressure on HFN with the Omni Slash. At some point, you're piling too much, too much expectation on one hero. Actually, I'm looking at the itemization choices. Yeah, drums coming out. This is actually one of those rare exceptions. I because you remember last game I said about supports building this. It's not great. Nature's is one of those rare exceptions. I'm okay with it. Ooh, Tavo in a little bit of trouble. Puppy coming over. He has vision. We'll look for the ensnare. There it is. Locks him in for just a moment. They've got the wild axes. Blink forward. Primal roar comes out, but they've got themselves the Bruce split. So Tavo. Getting wrapped around on, and there's the Cyclone as well as the Stun. They'll have this kill as uh, Ice Path misses, but the Dual Breath is there, and they finally clean him up. Yeah, and they are actually looking for Lean as well, Dragon Knight. Meanwhile, scouting out HFN. He actually guesses the wrong one, though. Yep, he realizes. But to go back to that fight and what happened there, that was actually really smart of me to put out the Brewmaster. Oh. Because otherwise, you're right next to the shrine. They'll probably respond. So it, it was correct. Like, it, at first glance, it looks a bit overkill. But I think that was the right call from, from Prada. King RD. He's got the urn now. Maybe once he hits Spirit Vessel, it's not too bad. Both just to farm up and stop the creep wave at the same time. But he did miss the range creep, which means they could just push on this tower again. L Dragon Form is available. I think they can't get a Spirit Vessel very quickly here. I don't see any way for them to really kill Dragon Knight. For a second, they were looking for Weeha. This tier 2 is is for sure going to drop. Slowly. I mean, this is the second attempt. It's down to 73 this time. I'm surprised they didn't... I don't know if they did, if they just threw Liquid Fire on it. And... I mean, Roche is up in two minutes. Why why overexert yourself, right? Actually, are they going to smoke up? Looks like they are... Weighing around, they're looking for anyone on the side of Pain to show on the map, so they have an immediate target. I and think they have vision of HFN with that ward there anyway. Yeah, so they saw both Tavo and HFN. There it is, they smoke up, secret on the move. They might scout into the Roche Pit first. Nope, they're going to go straight on the aggression. They want to cut off Tavo. He doesn't realize how many eyes they have on him right now, but Puppy? Gonna look around the side, see how he keeps the distance to make sure he doesn't break the smoke and make it obvious. They decide HFN, much better target. Yeah, they're wrapping around the back of HFN, and they will have quite a bit to go after him. It's a little bit far forward. There's the blink with the Dragon Tail, as well as the Elder Dragon Form Ice Path on top of that. Everybody's here, and cleaning up HFN will be mid-one in the gang. Meanwhile, 
Pain, they just try and push a little bit. Wee's here, pushing it in. Duster's gonna leave his creeps to go, but Puppy. Oh no, the song. TP's are already coming. They're gonna find another kill as we is stranded in the bot lane. Shakira moving across the ice path comes out. Flips on doing perfectly. Nice. There's they wipe him out instantly with a waveform E blade. You see what I said about that E blade? As soon as it comes out, you just disappear so quickly. Yeah, they clean up Weeha. They also clean up HFN. Two heroes dead here. It's 20 to 5, 11,000 net worth lead for a secret. And a point where Pain are just all their effectiveness and their heroes is starting to fall off. It's just not many answers towards the side of secret. Absolutely. And I mean, you don't want to, you're trying to think, where do they come back on Pain? We keep coming back to this juggernaut. What does he have? You got a Manta? You got Maelstrom. He doesn't survive this combo. We saw what happened top. If they initiate on him, Bottom HFN has no revolt. Setting up on HFN. He's right here. He's ready to go He's with the planner. Bruce split. He's also got the blink ready to just get up on, into his face. and They're they, ready to guard him, though. Yeah, they've got three heroes here, and I think that's why Fada doesn't go, is they've got the ward and they spot him oh, anyway. But he, he actually does go, as I say, he won't. The Bruce split comes out. The sun from Weeha. He's trying to do enough damage on Fada. If they can clean up these brewings, they might be able to do something. But look at how much Weeha's taking. They continue on in. There's the ensnare on the Blade Fury to HFN. Nobody dead just yet as they continue on forward. Look for the ice path. Finally leave. lands on a King RD. They might get themselves at least one. They've lost their bottom rain tracks while all this is going on. And there's the waveform forward. They'll go for King RD, get the kill, and at least take out one. Yeah, I mean, you get the kill on King RD. Not worth that much, but you did get that rack spot, as you were saying. So it's another small bite for Team Secret. And actually, they'll get the tier two top as a result of this. They still held on to the Elder Dragon form. And you can see Secret, because of that bow buff, they won't actually get in the valley they're looking for with the Macropire plus the Brucelet. And they'll just back up the Roach bit. Yeah. Aegis and Cheese. Why not? Once Ace has this, he's going to feel like a god. He can just go max Agi, jump straight in, E-Blade, kill off anyone he chooses on the side of Pain. And actually Pain, they come out, Ice Path, Agi catch on the HFN, they'll be ready to clap up onto him, the Light Strike Array. Looks like they're moving from mid one, the Dragon Tank just wants to get rid of Juggernaut quickly, he will, the boat way too late, King RD, he has to watch his Caller die, as he's just trying to run, but he won't make it out, We on the retreat, but what are you saving, only yourself as Tavo drops as well, We dodging out with the Shadow Blade, but now your whole base, it will be in peril as mid one just gets ready to push on this top, We the only survivor, and they have got buybacks, and I feel, I definitely feel like they'll be forced to use them here. Yeah, the push will come from mid. They can clean up top lane if they uh, are able to get the creep wave forward, but Weeha is already there to continue pushing over top, so it's just not going to happen. They'll have to go for mid. Weeha the cleans buybacks. it up. The buybacks come through, and Secret are ready to continue forward over this mid lane. They've got the tier three, and now they expose the racks. Weeha still not back in the base just yet, as Fada blinks in with the thunderclap. Ice path comes through, and there's the waveform forward with the E-Blade Ace beyond Godlike at this point. Blink comes out, there's the Dragon Tail. They're locking in this Beastmaster. Tavo drops as well as these racks, and it is looking very grim for the side of Pain Gaming they're 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 for a tree. They're gonna just go tier fours. What's stopping them now? No one's here to stop this. Wee's finally arrived, but he's two heroes down. And remember, there's still an Aegis on Ace, so you haven't even managed to expend one life. Yeah, they clean up the tier fours, and, and maybe they'll try to take one last stand as HFN goes in onto Ace. They've got the Omni Slash bouncing around on a bunch of these heroes, especially on a Yapsor. The stun tries to come out from Wea. They'll take out Duster Laguna Blade on a Yapsor. That's all you're probably going to get is that Jakiro. You've got four heroes here, but take a look. Is HFN getting shredded by Ace? He'll fall. So does Weeha, and GG is called again by Pain Gaming. Secret take the series 2-0. And honestly, those racks is mid. That didn't have to go that way. I think this is maybe like the teething of the, the change in the roster, uh, maybe a little bit of, of difference of opinions, because 